So your WordPress website password is going to be different from any of the other passwords you use and therefore you might need to reset it once in a while if you do forget. So there's a couple ways you can handle that depending on if you do remember your password and just want to change it or have completely forgotten and need to reset it. So I pulled up a login page here for one of the websites and sometimes it does ask you to prove your humanity and that's fine. But below the actual login page, if I've completely forgotten, I can click down here where it says lost your password. That is going to load up a space here where I can put in either the username that I use with the website, which maybe you forgot, or your full email address. I can hit get new password and that's going to email me a link saying your password has been reset, click this, they give you a new password and I would then log in. But alternatively, if I actually do remember my password and I have logged in here, the way to reset that is to come up into the top right corner where you see your own name, Howdy, and come to Edit My Profile. So I'm going to click that now. The profile information is not all that interesting. It's pretty much your email and your username. So when this loads up, I'll be able to scroll down past some of these other options. I'll see my username, which you cannot change and I can see my email address sitting there which should be your proper full TLDSB email address or that whole lost password feature I mentioned a moment ago won't work but as I come down here if I want to change this password I would click on generate password and at first it gives me a really ugly looking password that is of course strong I can click into here delete that and just put in my new password and spaces aren't going to be okay. It's going to throw an error on that one. So there. It's going to tell me how strong this particular password is. I could throw in some numbers and some symbols and see if that helps make it stronger. If I like that password, I can scroll to the bottom and I'm going to click on Update Profile. Now the thing to watch for when you click Update Profile is it is going to refresh the page and then up at the top where it always gives you these messages it will let you know if that worked or if potentially it did not work. So if you come down here and what you've typed is too weak then when I go ahead and click this oh see it's not even giving me the option now to update this profile. So that's good. Um, previously it would certainly allow you to do that but then it would give you a little notice up at the top of the page saying that that did not save and if you didn't notice that little message then you might continue on thinking you had updated your password when you really hadn't. So those are the two ways to get to the places you need to get to in order to reset or just change your existing WordPress website password.